Loved ones gathered in Castleton Sunday to celebrate the life of Honor Ray Fleming. The former Castleton University dean shot dead on the DNH rail trail earlier this month. Our Sophia Thomas reports. In his first public appearance since Honoré's death, husband Ron Powers said their love story began with a kismet flight out of LaGuardia Airport. I knew I wanted to marry her before she sat down, and I had not yet had a glimpse into her staggering intellect or the serene courage that would safeguard us both through the cataclysms to come. Marrying on October 5, 1978, Power said the two supported each other through impressive careers. Fleming, a groundbreaking biologist and educator, and Powers, a Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist and author. Now, 45 years later, their wedding date has also become the anniversary of Fleming's murder. A visit to Vermont with sons Dean and Kevin inspired the couple to uproot from New York City for the seemingly safer, more peaceful countryside. It was there that Fleming navigated work at Middlebury College and Castleton University while supporting her sons through addiction and mental health issues, son Dean Powers recalled. On New Year's night, she picked me up in Ripton High on acid and drunk after getting kicked out of the party for being a fool. It's just one time I got into trouble out of many, and she just kept putting up with me and kept forgiving me and kept loving me. In the devastating wake of their son Kevin's suicide, Powers said Fleming's strong, loving spirit held their family together. She was a force to be reckoned with outside of the home, too, a tireless advocate for her female students facing misogyny while studying science. As Powers repeated throughout his eulogy, honors was indomitable, almost. The world lurched out of the bushes along a Meadowland trail that Honoré loved to walk and put a gun to her head. Vermont turned out to be not quite so safe after all. During the reception that followed, guests' memories of Fleming were underscored by a fierce desire to catch her killer. As a friend of Fleming's and a parent of a Castleton student, Colleen Wright refuses to let Fleming's story die down. We can't just let it fade away. I don't want it to become a cold case. And 22 years down the road, we find out it was this person. We need to know now. Police recently released a sketch of the person of interest in Fleming's murder, though no arrests have been made. Reporting in Castleton, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 News.